Day in the Dirt is an annual motocross event held on Thanksgiving weekend. It's hosted by the Hollywood stunt and film community, and it brings together people from the entertainment industry, actors, directors, stunt professionals and crew, as well as motocross and supercross champions, both past and present, for three days of racing, reminiscing, and good times. In its 11th year, A Day in the Dirt has become a modern classic. It's done so by capturing the spirit of the great Grand Prix races of the past. Some of the racers are here just to have fun, while others are fiercely competitive. Troy Gilbert of K-Stunts was railing around corners for the Vintage GP. Jay Lynch, Stunts Unlimited, raced in all the events he could enter. Brian Deegan, freestyle motocross icon, one of the most winning riders of all time, was just hanging out and sharing a few battlefield stories. If knobbies and dirt are on the agenda, you can expect to see the legendary Malcolm Smith and his son Alexander. Moss McCoy is always in attendance, and while he's a really nice guy, he's still a force to be reckoned with in the dirt. And then there's Dave Terrell, who adds a layer of complexity to the vintage GP by wrestling 600 pounds of German war machine around the track in the spirit of the Great Escape. So I'm here at Day in the Dirt with Dave Terrell, who chose a rather unusual motorcycle to run in the vintage class. Tell me about your bike. Well, it's a 1938 BMW 750, uh, 21 horsepower, weighs 628 pounds roughly without the sidecar on it. So a couple years ago, a friend of mine, uh, Trevor, and I raced it with the sidecar on it, but the track was different out there. It didn't have all the hills that went around it without a problem. Uh, this time it didn't really make the hills too good. So how does it feel to be out there uh, taking whoops, and uh, what does the bike handle like out there? Uh, it handles terrible, and it has pretty much no suspension, and the bearings are shot on the front end, so it, it kind of has three different steering points, you know, straight, right, and left, and you, it was all over the place. You know, I tried waving at one of my friends on the side of the track and washed out and almost went down. I got lucky and saved it, but, uh, yeah, it's a complete handful. I don't know how they ever made it back from the Russian front on these things. It needs probably about five guys standing around the track pushing. <laughs> so what got you interested in this bike? Uh, the movie, the Great Escape movie got me into the whole sidecar thing when Steve McQueen was running from the Germans and they were chasing him down out in the hills and I just thought, man, that just looks so bitching, you know, I want to get out there and do that. And uh, bought this from the 12th SS reenactment group and sidecar on it and thought, you know, I want to bring it out here and race because this has a lot to do with Steve McQueen and the movie industry and so on. Got it running Thanksgiving Day, actually. The transmission we rebuilt in Malcolm Smith's garage uh, last month, he knew how to put it all together. I had it in a million pieces. He didn't, you know, he looked at it and said, oh, I can put that together in five minutes. And it was more than five minutes, but we got it together and it worked. But uh, you can still buy all the parts and you can actually still buy these bikes uh, new, completely rebuilt in Corona, California from a company called Mark Cass Motorcycles. So if I uh, put knobbies on my R1200R, do you think I'll do all right? Oh, you'd, you'd make it up the hills no problem with that bike. <laughs> Throw a roost probably. <laughs> <laughs> so anything you'd like to finish with? Um, I think I'll uh, plan a little bit farther ahead next time. Yeah. Find out if there's hills out here or not, maybe bring a little bit different bike. You'll probably never see Dave Terrell riding at the X Games or taking huge jumps like a freestyle motocrosser. But you will see him at a day in the dirt, having fun, and that's what it's all about. <laughs>